This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News. We're the 2012 Consumer Electronics Show. Spending a few minutes with Scott McGregor, who is President and CEO of Broadcoms. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Happy to be with you. We've got an interesting new logo, 5G. Tell us a little bit about Broadcom's role in uh, Wi-Fi and, and tell us more about this uh, brand new program. So 5G is uh, our term for 802.11ac, which is a new wireless LAN standard. And for people to make it easy to understand, it's about three times as fast as 802.11ac and the previous generation. Um, it's about twice the range and it's lower power. So we believe this will be uh, the predominant thing that will go into access points, into consumer devices, PCs, and next year into things like phones because, uh, again, the lower power is very attractive for phones. Broadcom is not a household name, but every engineer designing any cool products knows who Broadcom is. And uh, Broadcom is really three different divisions in the company. We have one group that focuses on the home, the living room products that go in there, another group that focuses on what we call the hand or mobile and wireless, and then the third group does infrastructure. And today at CES, we're demonstrating mostly the home and the hand, mobile and wireless kinds of products. And we see 5G, for example, is something that's going to really be a new innovation, driving the ability to, for example, send HD video all across the home. Uh, it's fast enough to do it. You can do multi-stream HD video and have the bandwidth to do it. It's one gigabit per second over the air. It provides a very important role because uh, for all of the speed of the 4G cellular networks, they're still bandwidth constrained. They're spectrum constrained and they're backhaul constrained today. So you see these people watching Netflix videos, okay, on their 3G iPad or something like that. It's a real challenge for all those networks to keep up. And so it's very, very valuable if the cellular networks can offload as much of the data traffic as possible over to the wireless LAN and wired networks. That frees up capacity, spectrum capacity, backhaul capacity for them to service the customers who really need the wireless. Uh, aspect of that over the cellular network. So uh, 5G Wi-Fi, just the data rates that it provides, will give you a great performance, even better than a 4G performance on cellular, okay, using that. So great video, great download, low latency if you're playing games, so all of those good things. Well, CES for many years was about who could build the biggest TV set and or who could build the loudest car audio system and, you know, the thumping cars. And I think really this year it's about connecting people to content. And so gone are the who has the biggest TV set now is who has the smartest TV set. And smart usually means connected to the Internet. It means connected to other devices, uh, available uh, content. Uh, so those are the kind of things we see at the show, and Broadcom really fills that role. In fact, we say that what you see in this booth here at Broadcom this year is what's going to be hot at CES next year. Okay, so these are the chips that will get built into the products over the course of the next year to enable connectivity. Uh, we talked about 5G wireless. Uh, we're showing new kinds of video technology, new location-based services. On the home side, we're showing all kinds of satellite and cable improvements for faster channel change, more channels, uh, connecting to tablets uh, for your content, sling box like functionality, those kind of things. Broadcom has about 10,000 employees and we hired well over a thousand people last year uh, and well over a thousand the year before. Uh, we expect to continue to hire. Uh, wireless is hot, a lot of the connectivity areas are hot, communications in general is a very strong field and Broadcom is also doing well and we're taking market share. So all of us have enabled us to outgrow the market dramatically over the last several years and so you know that enables us to create great new products. We invest a lot in R&D. We'll invest about two billion dollars in R&D this year. Okay, developing the kind of products you see here in our booth at CES. Broadcom is a market share leader in many markets. Uh, we're market share leader in wireless LAN, in Bluetooth, um, in all kinds of areas, in set-top box, in infrastructure. So we take it for granted, you know, a lot of how these systems connect, and they connect over internet backbone with fiber optic cables and switches. Uh, we're number one in all those spaces. So many different areas. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much.